Good evening and welcome to this edition of the Legacy of Queens for Sunday night, October 22nd, 2023. It is episode 82 and I'm your host Jason DeCanio for this very special edition where we just had a breaking news that we didn't know about until a day later or almost a week later as one of the most iconic people on the Rocky series. And I'm not talking about Sylvester Stallone, although he's been doing fantastic with his life. We're talking about the guy who basically was the crazy brother-in-law on the Rocky series. Um, The American actor, the author, and he was a painter. And he played Rocky Balboa's brother-in-law and best friend Paulie Panino in the Rocky film series. His performance is the first installment of which earned him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. And he also appeared in such films as Chinatown, The Gambler, The Killer Elite, Convoy, Uncle Joe Shannon, Once Upon a Time in America, The Pope of Greenwich Village, A Summer to Remember, Back to School, Last Exit to Brooklyn, Mickey Blue Eyes, Transamerica, Win Win, and Bottom of the Ninth. So we're going to be looking at the guy who was born and raised in Corona, Queens, New York, Gerald Tommaso DeLuise known professionally as Burt Young, on this edition of The Legacy of Queens. It's Sunday night, and it's episode 82 of The Legacy of Queens, and I'm your host, Jason DiCanio, for another edition of our show that looks at the superstars, the celebrities, and, of course, the ordinary people of Queens. In this edition here tonight, we're looking at the man who passed away on October 8th, which was just about two weeks ago, Uh, Bert Young, the American author and actor and painter who played in the Rocky film series, Uh, Passed away at the age of 83 in Los Angeles, but born April 30th, 1940 in Corona, Queens, the son of Josephine and Michael DeLuise and a high school shop teacher. He was of Italian descent and he was trained by Lee Strasberg at the actor's studio. He served a tour of duty in the United States Marine Corps from 1957 to 59. While in the Marine Corps, he boxed regularly, winning 32 of 34 boxing bouts. Young made his name playing rough-edged, working-class Italian-American characters, the best-known example being his signature role as Rocky Balboa's friend and future and brother-in-law, Paulie, in Rocky in 76, for which he received an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. He is one of four actors, the other three being Stallone, Stu Nahan, and Tony Burton, who have appeared in all of the first six Rocky films, although Talia Shire, who appears in the first five films, makes a flashback appearance in the sixth. Young did not reprise his role in the 2015 film Creed. The character was described as having died in 2012. Young appeared in such films as Chinatown, Convoy, Back to School, The Pope of Greenwich Village, Once Upon a Time in America, Last Exit to Brooklyn, Downtown, A Street Tale, and Amityville 2, The Post, The Possession. Television appearances for Young included The Rockford Files, Beretta, Law & Order, Walker, Texas Ranger, All in the Family, MASH, and Miami Vice. He made an appearance on The Sopranos in the episode called Another Toothpick, as Bobby Bossolari's father, who is dying of cancer and comes out of retirement to execute a hit on his godson, Mustang Sally, in tile, as punishment for in tile having brutally beaten the family friend simply for chatting with in tile's girlfriend. In a nod to having to his having served in the U.S. Marine Corps, he played a retired drill instructor, in the short-lived 1987 ABC series, Roomies, where his character decides to go to college after his retirement. 
In 2017, he returned to the stage as an aged mob boss in The Last Vig, a play written by Dave Varelli. The show ran from January 14th to February 19th, 2017 at the Zephyr Theater in Los Angeles. He was also a painter, and his art has been displayed in galleries throughout the world. As an artist, he collaborated with the writer Gabriel Tinte, or Tinty, for whom he designed the cover for the poetry collection, All Over, as well as contributing the illustrations for the art book, A Man. Some of Young's actual paintings were shown in a scene in Rocky Balboa, where Paulie gets fired from the meatpacking plant. Young was also a published author whose works included two film screenplays and a 400-page historical novel called Endings. He wrote two stage plays, S.O.S. and A Letter to Alicia, and the New York City government from a man with a bullet in his head. Young's wife, Gloria, died in 1974. He had a daughter and a grandson, and he resided in Port Washington, New York. He owned a restaurant in the Bronx, New York. He participated in the 1984 New York City Marathon and unfortunately passed away two weeks ago in Los Angeles at the age of 83. And, of course, his tremendous film over the decades. Very interesting that we lost him that young at the age of 83. Burt Young, a man who will always go down in history as the crazy brother-in-law to Rocky Balboa. What a way to go. A very short, interesting thing. Let's see if we can find some more information about Burt Young. And uh, that was very short uh, in the Wikipedia. Most of the times, sometimes you can get uh, more information on them. Let's see. Okay. Let's look at the obituaries here from NPR. Sometimes we get a good one. This was on October 19th. At 11, 12 a.m. by the Associated Press. Los Angeles, Burt Young, the Oscar-nominated actor who played Paulie, rough, the rough-hewn, mumbling, and grumbling best friend, corner man, and brother-in-law to Sylvester Stallone in the Rocky franchise, has died. Young died October 8th in Los Angeles. His daughter, Anne Moreo Stessinger, told the New York Times on Wednesday, no cause was given. He was 83. Young had roles in acclaimed films and television shows including Chinatown, Once Upon a Time in America, and The Sopranos, but he was always best known for playing Paulie Panino in six Rocky movies. The short, paunchy, balding Young was the sort of actor who always seemed to play middle-aged no matter his age. When Paulie's first appear, appears in 1976 as Rocky, he's an angry, foul-mouthed meatpacker who's an abusive to his sister Adrian, Talia Shire, with whom he had, he shares a small apartment in Philadelphia. He berates the shy, meek Adrian for refusing at first to go on a Thanksgiving night date with his buddy and co-worker Rocky Balboa and destroys the turkey she has in the oven. The film became a phenomenon, topping the box office for the year and making a star of lead actor and writer Stallone, who paid tribute to Young on Instagram on Wednesday night. Along with a photo of the two of them on the set of the first film, Stallone wrote, You are an incredible man and artist. I and the world will miss you very much. <laughs> Rocky was nominated for 10 Oscars, including Best Supporting Actor for Young. It won three, including Best Picture. Young and co-star Burgess Meredith, who was also nominated, lost to Jason Robards in All the President's Men. As the movies went on, Young's Paulie softened, as the sequels themselves did, and he became their comic relief. In 1985's Rocky IV, he reprograms a robot Rocky gives him into a sexy voiced servant who dots on him. Paulie was also an internal pessimist, who was constantly convinced that Rocky was going to get clobbered by his increasingly daunting opponents. His surprise at Rocky's resilience brought big laughs. It was a great ride, and it brought me to the audience in a great way, Young said in a 2020 interview with Celebrity Parents magazine. I made him a rough guy with his sensitivity. He's really a marshmallow, even though he yells a lot. <laughs> he was born and raised in Queens, New York, and he served in the Marine Corps, fought as a professional boxer, and worked as a carpet layer before taking up acting, studying with legendary teacher Lee Strasberg at the Actors Studio. On stage... In films and on television, 
He typically played small-time tough guys or down-on-their-luck working-class men. In a short but memorable scene in 1974's Chinatown, he plays a fisherman who throws a fit when Jack Nicholson's private detective, Jake Gitz, shows him pictures proving his wife is cheating on him. Young also appeared in director Sergio Leone's 1984 gangster epic Once Upon a Time in America with Robert De Niro, the 1986 comedy Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield, and the 1989 gritty drama Last Exit to Brooklyn with Jennifer Jason Leigh. In a striking appearance in the season three of The Sopranos in 2001, he plays Bobby Baccalareri, senior, an elderly mafioso with lung cancer, who pulls off one last hit before a coughing fit leads him to dying in a car accident. He guest starred on many other TV series, including uh, MASH, Miami Vice, and The Equalizer. Later in life, he focused on roles in the theater and on painting, a lifelong pursuit that led to gallery shows and sales. His wife of 13 years, Gloria, died in 1974. Along with his daughter, Young is survived by one grandchild and a brother, Robert. And there you have it, friends. Some interesting stories from different avenues. A short one at that, but very, very well informed. We'll get back to our regular basic lineup that we had. Burt Young was going to be one of our down in the seasons. But because of his passing, we had to move him up to this week. So we didn't have a chance to do him last week because we didn't know about his passing. So next week, which will be October 29th, two days before Halloween, we'll look at James Coco again. That was the man that was gonna. we were going to have on this episode 82 but because of Burt Young's passing two weeks ago we moved Burt Young up to this week so next week we'll look at the American stage and screen actor the recipient of the primetime Emmy Award Drama Desk Award and three Obie Awards as well as nominations for a Tony an Academy and two Golden Globes he's remembered for his supporting roles in the films Man of La Mancha and Only When I Laugh James Emil Coco, who we will look at next week, right here on the Legacy of Queens. I'm Jason DeCanio. Thank you once again for another great week. We hope that you're doing fantastic and that you continue to support us on Spotify and, of course, on YouTube. Look at our back episodes. We just put up John Bowser Bauman, and uh, hopefully you'll get some more v uh, views on that particular show. We hope that you will continue to support us here. And remember always to be honest, be real, and to keep it simple, stupid kiss. We'll see you next week, as always. And remember, of course, you know where we'll be here when there's always a chance. If something does come up where we have to change to, to tribute an actor or an actress that passed away in the coming week, we'll definitely give you the reason why it happened for that particular situation. Till then, have a good night. Bye for now. 